Good afternoon. I thought I'd make this short uh, video just to show you uh, what I've tried to do with uh, IBC totes to make uh, rain, a rain collection system. Uh, as you can see here, I've got a pair of them and uh, I didn't set them up too high, just a couple feet off the ground so they're not, uh, they don't go above the, uh, the fence with my neighbor. Um, so there's, we've just had an inch of rain and uh, and that's filled them about uh, oh more than three quarters full I guess and um, oh, they're eighty percent full and uh, so what we have here actually is um, uh, I didn't join the tanks directly uh, together what I've done is I've separated them with uh, you can see here is uh, a small swimming pool pump that I got uh, that I had from a few years ago and there's, so there's a filter in there and so what I've done is um, separated the two tanks so the water comes in I'll just swing way over here so I attached a two inch ABS pipe to the eaves trough here and as it happens these eaves troughs don't have very much slope to them and so with a, a little bit of effort I'm going to be able to backflow a lot of the water down that tube Anyway, so it comes down here and across the fence, and then I've made a uh, first flow, uh, first flush collector here out of a pail. Um, I had to uh, build a clamp to hold the lid on properly, otherwise it would might come off. Anyway, the water comes up. Once that's full, it back flows up to the top again and across here to uh, collection tube, and then down here. And so then it can go into uh, this tank on the left, which would be the so-called maybe dirtier water. And there's a, a clean out at the end of uh, this tube here. And then uh, the water is directed through the uh, swimming pool filter and then back out again. And then it can goes into the cleaner water tank. Um, there, uh, the uh, two-inch ABS pipe fittings fit directly onto the. Uh, the uh, female fittings that were on the tank so that was very convenient and um, the whole system can be isolated I guess it can be removed easily just by unscrewing those uh, connectors you'll see those right here those are just screwed on um, when I put this together I did uh, glue all the fittings that are uh, below the top of the tank so they wouldn't leak and I also um, glued all the fittings along the eaves trough. Everywhere in between I didn't bother and uh, doesn't seem to leak much. Anyway this is, uh, oh and the last part of this is I put a breather at the top so there's a, at, in the top, uh, in the caps that go on these tanks I put in little uh, oh, half inch fittings and uh, joined it to another overflow tube here and uh, so if these tanks fill right up um, then some water can go out this overflow tube but these are pretty small tubes and the idea actually is for this tank to once if they're both filled is for it to backflow back up to the eaves trough and then actually go out 